Hello and welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor. Uh, here we're going to continue to roll up our sleeves, solve these uh, or balance these redox reactions in acidic solution using our process. So uh, it's the same story, different verse. We're just getting um, we're just getting a little more practice. So here's what we have: NO3 has a charge of negative one plus copper, which is no charge, no ion, yields NO2 plus Cu2 plus. Okay, so that's our equation. Well, let's just kind of go through our process and see if we can, um, you know, see if we can just get a bulletproof way of doing it. So step one. Okay, it's is it a net ionic? Write it as a net ionic equation? Yes, it is. We know it is because we have all these ions floating around. I mean, if you had a reaction that wasn't written as net ionic, you wouldn't see the ions everywhere. So you, that you can assume that that's net ionic. By the way, unless I tell you otherwise, we're assuming these are all in acidic solution, which should be information given to you on your homework problems or on your test. So we're using the same method here. All right, so step number two. All right, so we're going to write as half reactions. All right, so when we do this part, all we really are ha have to do is figure out what goes with what. So obviously this guy goes with this, and this guy goes with this. So what we're going to have is NO3 negative goes to NO2, and then we'll have Cu goes to Cu2 plus. So we're just writing everything down. We're not doing any balancing. We're not doing anything fancy. All right, step three. Balance. Uh, all but oxygen and hydrogen. That is our next step in our list. And we look at this and we see, all right, the nitrogen's already balanced, the copper's already balanced. So everything is already balanced except for this. So this is one of those exceptions where I don't think you need to write it down again. We'll just put a check mark to tell us that we believe that that's already done. So if we were to complete this step, we would write exactly the same thing down again with no changes whatsoever. That, I agree, is a waste of paper. So we're just, if we're not doing anything at all, we'll just put a check mark to tell ourselves, okay, we believe that that's done, and then right underneath it, we can just move on to the next step. And that's not really cheating, that's just kind of saving a little bit of paper. So here we go. Step four is we're going to balance uh, the oxygen with H2O. So hopefully this process is starting to get a little familiar. First, make sure it's a half uh, net, net, net ionic. Second, do the half reactions. Third, balance everything but the hydrogen and oxygen. Fourth, we balance the oxygen with water. So that's the next.